Hello, my dear Gemini. Welcome to your relationship reading for the month of February 2021. I'm the Sunlight Oracle, and as always, I'm going to ask you to think of a person. Go with the first person who comes to mind. Don't overthink it. Don't try to change it because whatever messages I'm going to channel today are regarding that first person who came up. Take what you need, leave the rest. Their general readings, you know, don't resonate with everyone. But let's go ahead and jump into it, Gemini. Who are you? Knight of Cups. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Who are they? Thank you. The Princess of Cups. Huh. Okay. And I'm also going to pull a card here from the Sunlight Oracle deck to kind of give me more insight into the dynamic, though I have a pretty good idea here. Um, while you're here, please like, subscribe, share with a friend. It's the easiest way to support my little YouTube channel. Okay, comfort zone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Gemini, right off the bat, like whoever you're thinking of, both of you, I'm getting major like people pleaser vibes. Okay, um, two people who are very generous, who are very open, also two spiritual seekers, honestly, especially you as the Knight of Cups this month, um, looking for more and looking for what else is out there. And I'm just going to say like, it's going to be really hard to keep spiritually seeking if you're seeking validation here on earth. That's what I hear. The Knight of Cups is someone who for you this month is, I'm hearing that you're very learned or you're very set in a pattern of getting, um, validation for your achievements. It's your comfort zone. It's how you receive love. It's the only thing that makes you um, really feel seen is like very much an achievement. And it, you really, this is specifically has to do with family, like really makes you feel seen by your family. You feel like you have to come home with trophies or work, work, um, you know what I mean? Tangible work to show them. And I just, I see a contradiction here for you, Gemini, um, in wanting more and wanting to experience l life beyond, but being unwilling to kind of, um, sacrifice the validation that you seek from people on earth. I hope that makes sense. It sounds a little <laughs> complicated to me, but, um, you're, you're a very, you're a very creative person and what's, cre what's preventing you from taking creative flight and being your best per your best self is not anyone here that we're going to discuss. It's your comfort zone and your comfort zone is very much one of receiving, receiving validation, like perhaps through words of affirmation specifically, like having people tell you, you do a good job. Um, especially again from your family and this other person we're, we're talking about can also kind of it's, it's not as much people pleasing as it is like passive aggressive. Um, you might feel like they're almost trying to like manipulate you with like kindness or like not, it's not kindness. It's like niceness. Like, you know, it, you, you're, you're, you guys are doing this like dance where neither of you are like actually being like authentic versions of yourself. Okay. Um, they're, they're fearing judgment of not being nice and you fear um, the, not judgment, but the lack of validation that like what you do is never enough. These are learned behaviors from both of you. I, it almost feels like you're both from the same family, honestly, like natal family, blood family. If you thought of a family member, like it wouldn't surprise me because the, the behaviors are so similar, but also if it's a lover or a crush or a friend, it also wouldn't surprise me because these two kinds of people attract one another because you can keep up this game of, Oh, I'm so nice. And I will give you the validation. And you're like, thank you for the validation. I will tell you that you're so nice. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it does. It just, when the comfort zone, when the comfort zone card comes up, it does often come through as like a push. Sometimes I'm going to tell you like, yeah, retreat to your comfort zone. It's very, you've been working really hard, but Gemini in your case, I do feel compelled to say like, uh, this corny kind of phrase, you know, the tarot gets corny sometimes where it's like growth exists beyond your comfort zone. And like you desperately, not desperately, but you're aware that you want to grow beyond your skin. You, if that makes sense, you're aware that you want to grow to be bigger than 
here than now, you know? And that awareness paired with the need for validation is just a recipe for struggle, frustration, and frankly, depression. So if you can begin to think about your comfort zone on a daily basis, not as it even, I don't even feel like this, this relationship reading is super about the relationship. It's way more about you. Like the, the big message here is like about you and your relationship with yourself. And this happens sometimes. And I'm just, again, growth is beyond your comfort zone. If you can find ways to stop seeking validation from others and breaking patterns of, you know, needing that validation and those words of affirmation, you're going to take flight. You see these giant um, wings on the night here. He's going to the spirit, he's going beyond. He's going beyond, but this damn cup with this crab in it is so shiny and it, it's representing validation from the family here. And in this case, and he wants that instead of what's beyond it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something beyond it that will allow him to stretch his wings. And yeah, his horse can come too. <laughs> oh, I love it. Gemini, I always love your readings. I find y'all to be such a fascinating archetype. Um, let me know if you have any questions. This was kind of unconventional. We thank our guides and we send them on our way or on their way. And I will see y'all next week. Have a good one.